Here we are. Right. Right, gorgeous people. Let's go. So we're going to start with our feet together, our toes out, our heels out, soften the knees, squeeze your bum cheeks, nice and tight. And then just drop the rib cage down slightly, pulling the belly button, relax your arms to the side, shoulders back and down. And then ear to shoulder to each side. I really apologize about the music today. Um, so I bought two iPods. One has just my dance music on and the other one doesn't want to work. So um, I've got no like, we've got a bit of dirty dancing right now. That's not too bad. <laughs> It's going to be a random mix of music. Obviously at home, you've got nothing, so. All right, chin to chest. Eye gaze all the way up. We just think of it as background. Background music. Good. Eye gaze up and then chin to chest. Oh, okay, look over one shoulder. And then look over the other shoulder. Any areas you want to work more on today? <laughs> and then add some rotation. Oh yeah, because you said bums last week, didn't you? How were your bums on the weekend? Obviously someone didn't work hard enough though, did they? Good, now roll the shoulders. No, technically you don't want to ache. If you ache, it means that you're not doing enough in that area. That's what it means. And then we go the other way. Nice big shoulder rolls forward. Good, so let's bring in the arms. Big four arm circles. And then the other way. One arm forward, one arm back. And then the other way. One arm forward, one arm back. Oh dear. Right, we're going to take the legs out wide and I'm going to allow you to lift your heels up this time. And you're going to twist all the way around the back and allow your arms to land heavy onto the body. Or at least we'll go through some songs and you'll be like, oh, actually, can we do this in dance next time? <laughs> Good. And relax you there. Right, bring yourselves back into position. We're going to roll the hips out. So we're going to circle those hips. So you're going to go one way. And then we're going to circle the other way. Good. Change legs. Circle one way. And then circle the other way. Good. Right. Back into neutral, squeeze your butt cheeks. Right, take a breath in. As we exhale, roll down through the front of the body, hands touching the floor, feel that stretch. And then we're gonna slowly roll up with our head coming up last. Good, so take your time. We're gonna do four of these all together. That's it, and then go back down again. Two more. That's it, and then last one. Okay, hands on the hips, we're gonna come up onto the toes and then roll back on the heels. Up on the toes, roll back on the heels. Keep the bum clenched, abs switched on. That's it. Good, right up into the toes, back on the heels. Right up into the toes, back on the heels. Beautiful. All right, you're going to lift your heels. And what we're going to do is we're going to work the front of the quads, just above the knee. So what we're going to do is making sure that your weight is spread evenly over your toes. You're going to sit right back, reach those arms forward, because that will help keep your chest up. Go down so your bum feels like it's level with the knees. And then going to come up three quarters of the way. And then back down again. 
You're gonna keep balancing on your toes. Three quarters of the way up, all the way down. Keep going, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna feel a little bit of a bend going on here. Have we got it yet? You all right? <laughs> so take your time, just make sure those knees don't collapse inwards. If they do, it's gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable. Make sure they're not too far out either as well. So it's about having it directly in the middle. Keep balancing on the toes. Good, sit right back and down. Is everyone feeling a bit of a burn yet? On the fronts of the thighs? Yeah, so it's gonna help strengthen your knees, I promise. So it just works just the top of your knees. Keep going, keep going. Right down and hold. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now bounce it, now bounce it. Good. Try and come a little bit more on the ball of your foot. Don't put the heels down, pulse it. Good for your knees, remember. Four, three, two, one, and release. Oh, shake it out. If you feel anything going over the top of the kneecap, all you need to do, quick quad stretch. Okay, that's all it is. Just a quick quad stretch. Right, we're gonna move into a nice stretch and get you warmed up. I know if you've done dance, you should already be warm. For those that have come in, sorry dancers, but they're my priority. I've got to make sure that they're warm first. <laughs> right, feet together. Doesn't matter which way you stand on your mat. All right, here we go. So, two sun salutations, nice and slow. Remember, we're trying to work on the lunge forward. So remember when you're the down dog and we lunge forward, that's your um, top priority today. Right, feet together. Stand nice and tall, arms above the head, reach up nice and high. Open the hips, sorry, open the arms, hands to floor. Forward fold, chin to chest. Right leg, one big lunge backwards. Hips down. Chest up, look forward. Press back to down dog, tailbone up high. Good, now lengthen the spine, option hands and knees. Glide forward to your plank, squeeze the shoulders together, drop the hips slightly, and then crocodile lower down to the floor. Baby cobra or your full up dog, shoulders back and down, squeeze the bum. Press back to down dog, we've nailed that one. Now here it goes. Right leg, big lunge forward. So what you need to do is bend your knees and then shoot that right leg forward. Come on, is it getting better? We're getting there. Now, if it's not quite there, now grab the ankle and bring it forward. So it's in between your hands. Hips down, chest lift. Good. Back leg, step in, feet together, chin to chest. Right to the top. Good. Open those arms, clasp those hands behind. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. I'm going to watch on this one, see how you do on the lunge. Ready, arms up above the head, stand up nice and tall. And open those arms out wide, hands to floor, forward fold. Feel the stretch in the back of the legs, chin to your chest. Left leg, lunge back, one big step. Hips down, chest lift. Remember, you've got to look forward on this one. Shoulders pressed together. Nice. Press back to down dog, easy option, hands and knees. Glide forward to plank. And then slowly lower to crocodile. We know you can do plank and crocodile. Right, baby cobra, your foot up dog. Make sure you squeeze your bottom, push your hips forward. Don't you hyperextend it through the lower back. Press back to down dog, all hands and knees. Extend through your spine. So remember, you've got to bring your chest closer to your thighs. Take your tailbone up to the ceiling. Bend the knees if you need to. Are you ready? You're going to bend the knees and then launch your left leg forward. Just launch it. You have to go quite quick on that one. A little bit of power in the hips there. Good. Remember, you've got to try and get used to doing that. Back leg steps in, feet together. Nice lunge, Margaret. Go on, trust the hip, trust the hip. There you go. And right to the top, arms up above the head. And open those arms, clasp those hands behind, squeeze between the shoulder blades. And release, well done. Right, switch on your glutes. You need your chair, you need your bands. I still have quite a few bands left at the front if you haven't got one already. Work and work. Working at the car wash. At the car wash, yeah. Right, has everyone got their bands on? Right, send for your back. So, Always remember, you always want to exaggerate the push of the chest forward. If you exaggerate that, you're pretty much there. Right, shoulders back and down. Now, 
feet hip distance or until the band is stretched and there's no slack. Lean forward and then you're going to open and close those knees. Good. Now go a little bit faster. Out in, out in, out in, out in, out in. Good. Oh, Lewis, come on, Margaret. <laughs> I, I know. The song you gave me, I was going to do it as a cool down. I keep forgetting to put it in. It's not until I get here, I'm like, oh. Good. Right, everyone feeling their bum cheek ship? Hopefully, we should be getting this in quite quick. Out and hold. Lean further forward. Open legs wider. Is it hurting? Is it hurting? I just wanna. Come on. Oh no, we're gonna get you a lot of singing, aren't we? Pulse it, go. Out, in, out, in. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Go on, keep posting. And four, three, two, and one release. Ooh, give your bum a little wiggle. Give your bum a little wiggle. All right, so good you second set of those. Right, get yourself ready, sit up, back straight, arms in, chest lift, lean forward. Let's go, out, in, out, in, nice and slow. Good, now go faster. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Feel the burn. Are you leaning forward enough? Sally definitely is. <laughs> Come on. Out and hold. Ooh. Wider. Feeling in the bum cheeks, feeling in the bum cheeks. Oh, it feels so good. Yes. Four, three, two, now pulse it. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Come on, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Um, I'm not even sure your barber, you're actually gonna feel that. I mean, how far up that bunch do you want the leg on the the you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a bit high up in it, love. Right, four, three, come on, two, one, and release. Well done. Okay, so what I've worked out, when you do your down dog into that lunge, okay, so one of the reasons that you might struggle to get the leg forward is because of the hip strength, the front of the hips. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to sit on our chair so we can have both feet flat on the floor. You're going to keep the bands where it is around your thighs. We're not going to do this stand, we're going to do it seated. Now, make sure that you stay upright on this one. What you're going to do is you're going to lift one leg up so you're pulling against the band. Now pulse it up and down for me. Can you feel that with the bands? Or is it, um, is the band not front of your hip? Well, lift your leg up then. Like this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's because you've got the band, so yeah. Up and hold. Higher. Yeah, so hip strength. This is a good exercise for hip strength. Now you can all feel it, good. Go higher. Well, that hurts, isn't it? This will make it easier to do that lunge forward, and it'll also make it easier to walk upstairs, Kathy. Lift your leg up. <laughs> and release. No, 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 if you, if you have the leg straight, it's because the band's now got a little bit more 
um, you've got uh, more resistance behind it. Right, other leg, let's go. Up and pulse. Do you know if that helps do it? <laughs> so if you have trouble with the lunge, you need to do this even more. Up and hold. Don't lean forward, don't lean back, sit upright, then it hurts more, doesn't it? Oh, higher. Don't underestimate your little hip flexors at the front. Pulse it. Four, three, two, one, and release. Yeah. So Sally, long distance running, lots of that. <laughs> So, you know, when you get to the end of the marathon, you had that little hill to go up, you'd have flown up there. So, um, yeah, so the hip flexors is a very good exercise to do, easy to do at home. Lots of knee lifts. You can do it without a band, it still hurts like hell. All right, what we're going to do um, now is I'd like to work your hamstring. So, we're actually going to come straight down on the floor. So, if you stand on the end of your, your mat, keep the band on, but you need it around your ankles. Preferably, um, whatever it sticks better to. So you've got the silicone on the inside. It might, it, it might stick better to the skin or it might stick better to the leggings. So just, just try whichever sticks better because once we do the movement, the band will move unless it sticks to whatever your leggings or your, um, your skin. So just um, test it out. Does that make sense? I don't know. I didn't even make sense to myself. Um, right, so you're going to roll down through your spine. We're going to walk our hands forwards and then we're going to lay down into this position here. Oh, we've got a bit of drum and bass coming in now. Right. Now, if you've got any issues with your lower back, you can put your hands under your hips. So what you're going to do is you're going to flex both feet. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull one leg up. Now, hopefully the band will stay in the same position on both legs. What we're going to do is toe tap, push it in, toe tap, push it in, go. One leg. It needs to be quite fast for you to really get a pump in the hamstring. But you need to bring that heel as close as you can to your bottom. Good. If you pump it in quite fast and really force it on the way up, you'll get your heel closer to your bottom. Keep that foot flexed. Are you getting the burn yet? Yeah, yeah, back of the leg, back of the hamstring. <laughs> You're right there, Julie. <laughs> now up and pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. All the way up, all the way up. Good, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Four, three, two, one, and release. Does everyone feel that? Where can you feel it? The reason why I ask that is because it's not a trick question. It's generally, where do you feel it? Because I need to know to make sure you are doing it right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's never a trick question. I just want to make sure you feel it where I'm asking you to uh, feel it. Right, other leg. Big singles. Toe tap, heel to bum. Toe tap, heel to bum. So quick up and then control on the way down. Quick up, control on the way down. The reason why I'm doing it quick is because it gives the hamstring a good pump. If you go slow with the band, you probably wouldn't be able to go up so high because the uh, bands are quite tough, especially the material ones. If we had silicon, probably be um, easier to go slower and more controlled. Come on, Karen, get that leg up, love, get that leg up. Are you squeezing your bum though? Is your pubic bone pushed down into the floor? Have you sucked in your belly button? Come on, they're the standard, come on. Right, in and pulse, go. <laughs> come on, come on, four, pump it, three, two, one, release. 
Oh, that's a good one. Hamstrings. Always weak, very rarely tight. Right, you ready? Other leg, singles, go. We're going back in. Yeah, come on. Have you remembered the bum squeeze? Have you remembered the pubic bone? Have you remembered your belly button? If you do that, you'll feel that in the hamstring more as well, because everything's in the line. Come on. Come on, keep pumping the hamstring. Higher. Now pulse it. Come up. Oh no. Hold it. Push your hips further into the floor. Squeeze the bum. Heel closer. How's that feeling now? Go on, pull the heel in. Four, three, two, one release. Other leg, go. This is fun. Come on. Come on, people. Right, squeeze your bum. Push your hips down. Pull your belly button in. Come on, be more aggressive with that leg. More aggressive. Come on. Come on. Pulse it. The color. Oh, that's so good for the hamstrings, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Hold it. Hold it. Push your hips down. Feel the difference as soon as you push your hips down. Bring it in closer. Pulse it for four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. What's it hurt? Oh yeah, because you're banging it down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Not the hell. Right, okay. Sit back in your heels, take a nice big stretch forward. Right, we're going to do a spinal release here. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about the bands right now. I mean, we'll, we'll probably use it anyway. Um, hands and knees. If you have issues with being on your hands, you can come up on your knuckles. What you're going to do is we're going to have our hand behind our head. We're going to open the elbow up to the side. We're then going to come down and we're going to thread it underneath. But you want to keep that arm straight. So the one that you're balancing on stays straight. It's more about trying to get that elbow up high. You're always trying to increase the range of movement. So thread it underneath. Then bring it up and really open up that chest. That's it, open up as wide as you can, good, and then come back down. We're gonna do about 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. So you don't need to, so you just spread the arm through, come straight back up, lift the elbow, hold it for a split second, then go straight down, thread through, straight back up. The only hold is when the elbow is lifted. That's the only time I want you to hold the stretch. Uh, yeah. If I lift my right arm, I feel it in my right hip, but it's a spinal twist. Yeah, so wherever you've got tightness, that's probably where you're gonna feel it. But it is a spinal twist, but it probably will pull on other areas, that's fine. So 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Oh, for God's sake, it's not hard to count to 10, is it? Bloody hell. What? I did. I did though. <laughs> well, if you've done 10 on each side, you're gonna lay on your front, keep the band around your feet. If you've got a hard band, I'd probably put it up your legs a little bit higher. If you can. <laughs> Sorry, Julie. <laughs> Probably like under the knees or over the top of the, oh, um, above the knees or below the knees. We're going to do up and lift. We're going to do some, just some lower back strengthening stuff we're going to do before I roll you over and do some core. All right. You're going to stand your front, Margaret. 
What, are you just working it out? That's all right. Yeah, everyone there? Right, once you've done that, lay on your front. Again, um, any pressure with lower back, you can put your hands under your hips or you can put something under there. What it does, it just helps to alleviate a little bit of the lower back. So what, um, the lower the legs, the harder it's gonna be. Because we're gonna open the legs out. If it's too much, bring the band higher up. First one you're gonna do is a single leg lift. Remember what you should do before you start the exercise. Squeeze bum, push your pubic bone into the floor, pull your belly button in, then lift the leg. You shouldn't be able to lift it that high if you squeeze it all on. And it is a straight leg. Level one, you're gonna start off there. Option as well, if you want to, you can lift the upper body at the same time. That way you'll get to really work the muscles in the lower back. Keep alternating legs. All you're going to do is lift one leg up, then the other leg. The upper body is optional, but yes, you can lift the upper body as you lift the leg. I would recommend it because it's going to really work into the lower back. So you'll feel it in the muscles, but you don't feel it in the spine. So you have to make sure the bum's switched on, keep it bones pushed down, your belly button's pulled in. Next option is both legs lift, but keep them straight. Doesn't have to come off um, the floor massively, and it has to come off the floor a little bit. The next option is you're gonna lift your legs up, open, in and down. So lift both legs up, open both legs, bring them in and down. And you can make it a lot smoother by going up in a V shape and then reversing it back down. Again, you can incorporate the upper body as well. So yes, we're doing quite a bit of a lower back stuff here, but I just need to make sure we balance it out before we are. Uh, Oh, God, that heat's lovely, isn't it? Is it quite nice over here? Been a little bit uh, chilly on the uh, stage. Um, All right, whether you're doing single or double leg, I want you to come up and hold, up and hold. Whether you're doing single or double leg, good. Release it down. Change legs or do double leg again. Up and hold. Good. And release. All right, sit back into child pose. Just loosen off your back. Or you can stay on your front and just wiggle your hips from side to side. Wiggle your hips from side to side. Good. All right, once you've done that, you're then going to go straight onto your back. So I'm not doing um, glute work today. You'll be glad to hear. <laughs> lay, lay off the bum this week. Hamstrings does work a little bit of it, and that last one a little bit, but we're not focusing purely on bums. So on your back, bam, just above the knees. The reason why is because I'm going to get you to work your hip flexors, which is going to in turn work the lower part of your belly. So you're going to lay on your back. Right, the bands are um, ideally, oh, if I do it, then I can actually work out that is the right place. Right, so we're going to do from here. Tuck your tailbone under, pull your belly button in, and then you're going to draw one knee in towards the chest and then slowly release. Bring the other knee in and then slowly release. So I want you to pull against the band. Keep that lower back down and really pull that knee in. If you feel the band is moving, yeah, it needs to stay above the knees. Good, you can just adjust it. Okay, one side only. So pull the knee in, halfway uh, release. Pull the knee in, halfway release. So we're going back into the hip flexors, but also into the core. So if you place one hand on your belly, you can feel that really working. How's that hip flexor? That should have kicked in quite quick. Top of your hip. Has it kicked in? Good. Remember, posture, technique. Need to make sure that's correct first. Right, knee pulse it inwards towards your chest. Pull against the band, nice and tight. Come on, pull it, pull it, pull it. Come on, remember this is gonna help. Those lunges, four, three, 
two, one, release. Change leg slowly. Don't go all the way out. So bring your knee all the way to chest, three quarters out. Again, lower back, tailbone, belly button. Now in and pulse. Pulse it in, pulse it in, pulse it in, pulse it in. Good, well done. Four, three, two, one, and release. You want to take bands off now? Okay. <laughs> right, lengthen those legs out, it's long. Right, arms above the head, nice big reach. Take a breath in. As we exhale, we're gonna peel ourselves off the floor. Same speed going up, touching the toes, and then same speed going down. If you have trouble coming up off the floor, you're gonna push yourself into a seated position, work on going back as far as you can, and then coming back up, all right? So that's for those that have trouble bringing themselves off the floor. Work on going back as far as you can and then coming all the way back up, perfect. If you're coming from the floor, you're trying to make it as smooth as possible. So think of like six to 10 seconds on the way up and then do exactly the same on the way down. Good, how's everyone doing, all right? Nice work, good. Barbara G, you're not just laying there, are you? <laughs> I think she is. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, she was. She was just laying there with her dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, you cut me up. Yeah, yeah. I can see ya. You thought I weren't paying attention to you people at home. All right, good. Right, rest yourselves back down for me. All right. Okay, just to work um, a little bit of the hamstring and the glutes. Just a little bit. You're going to lift your hips up in the air for me. We're also gonna work the abdominals. So what I'm gonna get you to do is, we're gonna lift one leg up in the air. You're gonna go heel, toe, heel, toe. You're gonna to do 10 on one leg, 10 on the other leg. All right, make sure it's a full range of movement. So make sure the heel touches the floor and the toes go right up to the top. Keep your hips off the floor, 10 on each leg. Once you've done 10 on each leg, you're then gonna come back into sit-ups and I'm just going to do it now so once you're done you're going to join me with sit-ups tailbone lifts lower back presses down belly button in good everyone there no we're still on the uh, single leg <laughs> yeah, but was your bum on the floor though? I bet it was. Oh, well, there should be some light underneath that bum cheek. It's not resting on the floor, is it, Gillian? You're not resting on the floor, are you? Oh, you're not now. <laughs> no wonder everyone's going, oh, I like this exercise. This is nice. Yeah, you need to lift your bums up, don't you? Right. So into sit-ups where you've done 10 on each leg. 
When you do sit ups, they're not getting your chest up towards the ceiling. Hands behind the head. That's it. So just the little ones at the bottom. Just the little ones at the bottom. That's it. So legs bent, feet flat on the floor. And then we're going to do something very similar to what we've just done with the bridge, except the bum is going to stay down. So you're going to take both legs up in the air. What we're going to do is one leg goes down and up, and then the other leg goes down and up. So make sure tailbone's lifted, belly button. I cannot remember this one. Good. What are you going to do now from this one is you're going to now lift your hands behind the leg and you're going to go three, two, one. Rest. Three, two, one. Rest. Three, two, one. If your neck is aching, you can do one hand behind the head. Or you can just go legs only. Together. Legs only, but there's the three pulse at the bottom. Okay. Good. How's that one feeling? All right. That's not so bad, is it? <laughs> You've got a little hamstring stretch going on there as well. Both legs up in the air for me. Both legs up in the air. Right, heads, arms on the floor. On the floor. Arms on the floor. Lower one leg down towards the floor. Don't touch the floor, but lower it. Hold it. Right, now lift your tailbone. Tailbone, not your leg. Hold it. Wap it up it all. Come up. Switch. Come on. Leg lower, bum higher. Leg lower, bum higher. Hold it. Hold it. Bring it back in. Now hands behind your head. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Now lift your tailbone. Now drop the leg and hold. Now pulse the bum leg. Now lift the tailbone more. Go on, this is it now. Change legs. Other leg goes down, pulse at the bottom. Tailbone lift. Chest up higher. For four, three, two, one, and release. Oh, well done, everyone. Everyone right? Of course we are, of course we are. All right. So what I'm going to get you to do is lay in, stay on your back, keep your feet on the floor, and then just drop the knees over side to side, just loosen off the back. <sighs> Good, take a nice little twist side to side. Okay, and what you're going to do is we're going to roll over onto our side. We're going to take the top leg, bring the heel into the bottom, Push the hip forward, and you see that bottom leg here, you're gonna try and bring it, so it's on top of your knee, and you're gonna pull that knee down at the same time. Don't have to, that is an optional extra. That's it. Just focus on the top leg if you find it hard with the bottom leg crossing over, that's it. I'm sorry, it's not quite yoga music. <laughs> That's my fault. 
Okay, release that bottom leg. Keep that leg lifted. Go back onto your back and bring the knee in towards your chest. Now take that knee out to the side. So you've got that stretch going on in the inner, sorry, in the inner thigh. Good, come back into centre. Take that leg up in the air, hamstring. Good, heel to ceiling, toes facing towards you. Now you're gonna lift the chest up, bringing your nose towards your knee. Now bend that knee, and then you're gonna come up into a seated position. Still holding the same leg, yes? Bring that knee, sorry, bring that heel right in. Cross it over if you can. Hug the knee and then turn to face over the bent leg. That's it. Karen, think about it. Yes. <laughs> Good, everyone should be facing away from me. Now, if you want a little bit more, grab hold of the foot. Extend that leg and continue looking back and open up your arm and your legs. Only an option, don't have to take it if you don't want to. Perfect, bring it back in. Keep that leg lifted with your right leg. So if everyone got their left leg in their hand, is it their left leg? Everyone got left leg. You've got right, you've got left. Okay, whatever leg you've got, <gasps> place that foot on your thigh, calf or cross-legged. And then you're gonna lean forward. Oh, that's hard, isn't it? If not, just, if you find it hard bending both legs, just keep one leg straight and just place that foot on the inside of the thigh, yeah? It's always options and then lean forward. Did I not say left and right at the beginning? Just to confuse everyone, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good. Gently release. Bring the knees in, come back down onto the floor. The other leg. <laughs> oh, actually, now you're gonna face the back of the room now, aren't you? So you're gonna to turn to face the back. Grab hold of the top leg. That's why we, did the, uh, we didn't do left and right. So you're gonna turn to face the back of the room, grab hold of the ankle, stretch out the quads. Now remember the bottom leg is gonna come up, place the foot on the knee, and you're gonna pull the knee down towards the floor. Oh, it feels nice in the hip, doesn't it? Good, now release, keep hold of that foot, come over onto your back and bring the knee into your chest and then lengthen that other leg out. That's it. I was trying to do a little stretch sequence here. Now take the knee out to the side, just for a little stretch on the inner thigh. Good, now bring the knee in, straighten that leg up in the air. Heel to ceiling, toes towards you. That's it. Now bring your nose up towards the knee. Try and extend the stretch a little bit further. Good, now bend the knee, come up into a seated position, keeping that leg bent, heel comes in towards the groin and then cross over if you can, hug the knee and we should all be facing the front. Good, nice big twist. Put 
for those that want to, grab hold of the foot, extend the leg out long and reach open with the arm. Good, now soften the knee, place that foot on your thigh calf or cross-legged, but remember you've got the option of keeping the leg straight and then bringing in that foot on the inside of your thigh. Then when you're ready, take that lean forward. And now slowly release. You're gonna come back down onto your back. We're just gonna do a little one for the hip and the lower back, and then you're gonna go into relaxation. So you're gonna cross your right leg over your left, and then you're gonna drop your legs over to the right hand side. Open those arms out wide, stretching off the hip and releasing the lower back. If it's too much with the legs crossed, just bring your knees together and take it down to the side. Good. And then slowly bring it up into the center, cross the left over to the right, and then drop it over to the left hand side. Good. Now come back into the center. And then we're going to go into our relaxation. Hey. So lay on your back. Lay on your side or in a seated position. You want to close your eyes, your mouth, and just breathe in and out through your nose. So let's see if we can allow ourselves to go a little bit further into relaxation by scanning all the way through from your head down to your toes. So starting with the head, making sure the chin is gently tucked in, and we're creating length through the back of the neck. The shoulders are away from the ears, arms down by the side and your palms facing up to the ceiling. Our chest is open. And we're gonna try and get as much of our back on the floor as possible. The hips are open. And if you feel any pressure in the lower back, then your feet are flat on the floor, your legs bent. Or if you'd like a lower back release, soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. The thighs are open. We take another big breath in. Big exhale out, release and just let everything go. And I want you just to stay with your focus on your breath, breathing in and out. And each time you breathe, I want you to try and go a little bit deeper. And each time you breathe out, a little longer.
And now I want you to breathe in really deeply. So the belly lifts with the breath. Completely fill your body of breath. And then as you exhale, make it as long as possible. And then from there, we're going to just bring some gentle movement back in through your fingers and your toes. Circling the wrists and the ankles. And then take a nice stretch with the arms overhead, legs out long, reach it from your fingers to your toes. And then you're going to gently draw your knees one by one in towards the chest. Giving them a gentle hug. Gentle rock side to side, forward and back. And then you're going to roll to your right side, away from your heart. When you're ready, bring yourself up into a seated position. Ground your sit bones into the floor, rest your hands on your knees, lengthen through your spine to the crown of your head. Take a couple of breaths here, say inhale through the nose, exhale out the same way. Make sure the shoulders relax back and down. And then in your last in breath, take your arms above your head, palms press together. As you bring it down, exhale, take a little bow, release and let go. <clears throat> well done everyone. Well done. Good effort today. Not that you don't normally anyway, but. <laughs> All right, where's my off button? Right, stop recording. <laughs>